Hello, everybody. It's Jason Donnelly, DJ Puzzle, reporting for my website, iPadLoops.com. I am your host and your guide, and you are at my YouTube channel, and thank you for being here. Today, I'm really, really stoked to review a new app called RE1 by Numerical Audio. Why am I so stoked? Well, this app is inspired by the old Roland Space Echo, and I love that effect. I love it. It's a tape delay. It's a vintage tape delay. And this emulates that with a few extra goodies. Um, so you can get all kinds of craziness. You can really get a nice shoegazery sound. It's a looper, among other things. So let's dive in and um, check it out. So you've got three tape heads. You can see their little animated tape player above. The original Roland Space Echo had a tape inside of it, and uh, that's what it did. It would record a loop on that tape, and that would create an echo effect, the repeating echo effect that you hear in delay. And you can reverse the cassette. Wow, gorgeous. What an amazing sound design tool this is. And it's also a multi-effects processor. It's not just a tape machine delay. It's a tape machine emulator. You can dial in wow and flutter and saturation, just like DAW Cassette by Clevgron. It's a cool, a warped tape effect. Just amazing. And it's digital, so you have a BPM sync. That's what's great about it being digital. All right, so why am I set up the way I'm set up here in Cubasis? Well, I wanted to record a guitar loop and use the effect on it and then sort of uh, jam some lead stuff over the top and run it all through this new effect. Uh, so how did I set that up? Well, I recorded a four bar guitar loop and then I put it through a channel strip which comes with Cubasis and that's just a little compression on there and EQ and tone stack to give me a nice clean amp simulator And then I ran that through RE1 tape machine. So what I recommend doing is loading this, uh, this first preset here, the basic tape chorus, and then bringing some of these effects down, the wah and the flutter bring those down and uh the saturation we'll get a nice clean chorus effect okay, this way you can hear the guitar loop with very minimal amounts of effect on it as you can see here now this is a mono guitar track so let's dial in a little bit of the stereo effect. This is a great stereoizer. We'll brighten up the color. And dial in a little treble. All right, so keep your eye on this output fader here because this effect can get real wild real fast. All right, so let's have a look at the BPM sync. Activate that and over here you've got the time stretching feature for when working with loops and you've got a live transport which syncs the tape player up to the transport up there in your DAW okay so if you don't have it active you'll see it'll continue playing if you activate it it'll stop when you stop the DAW transport All right, so we've got these cool tape warping effects. They sound like warped old tapes here. 
use Wow and Flutter to achieve that effect. All right, so now we got kind of like a broken down tape effect going um, with a little bit of chorus. We'll dial in, I love the saturation. It's a really nice, warm tape saturation. Just a really cool, crunchy little distortion here. And like I said, this fader can be a little jumpy. So watch that fader there. It gets a little jumpy. Perhaps that can be fixed in a, an, an updated version of the app. There's a hiss, tape hiss. You can add some tape noise to it right there. Uh, let's see. Oh, if you mess with your delay time, you'll hear the pitch altering. That's because this is an analog delay. So that's what happens when you adjust the, the delay time. You'll hear the pitch bending. And add a little feedback. Now we've got a really nice, warm delay happening here. So let's mess with the tape separation, the head separation, and dial in a few head tape heads. Now this is where the magic really starts to happen. Things can get really wild here. Getting real trippy, real psychedelic, real quick. So yeah, that's, with those heads up, you, that, now, okay, so let's check out the overdub feature. What that'll do is it will start overdubbing, recording, and you get this stacking effect where it's constantly layering that recording on top of itself. And you can record loops with that overdub. You can set the looping point for how much of that you want to loop and overdub and record. So I matched it to four bars here because we have a four bar guitar loop. And we start to dial in these tape heads and you'll start to hear sort of a multi-tap, almost like multi-tap effect. And now since it's overdubbing, you might get that, get that tape start Record it, just hit clear. You only have to do it once after you start it up. Um, and it'll clear that sound out and it'll start overdubbing the signal. All right, so now we are just getting a really beautiful guitar sound. Real spacey and trippy. Hitting the reverse now, reversing the tape, just, just puts it over the top. I, mean, I think I'm gonna, this is gonna be my go-to guitar effect for, from now on. So loops, and this thing comes with some pre-recorded uh, samples. Pretty cool. And uh, you can create your own loops and samples within this and save them down. You can export them. Uh, if you're in overdub, if the loop doesn't sound right tempo-wise, you can change that. Hit the overdub button and mess with the number of bars here. Oh wow, yeah, see, it's gritty. I love this thing, man. What a what a killer effect, you know? It's not just delay. Listen to that saturation and that like lo-fi sample rate thing it's doing. Just so cool. Great for mangling drums. So yeah, there's lots of like loops that come with it. Some melodies and uh, beats.
Kind of reminds me a little bit of an OP1 for some reason. I think the graphics. Wow. Man. That saturation. Love it. The tape saturation on this loop. That just sounds thick. So yeah, so... You presets, and then next to that you've got your samples, okay? That's all on the browse. Now, if you hit right, the right button up there, you can't save loops that you created. You're basically just saving your preset settings. If you want to save loops, you gotta go into standalone mode here and look. See, so if you select right, you'll see there, make sample from tape loop, okay? Uh, I did not see that in the audio unit version. I might be wrong, but I look pretty hard for it. So, thanks for watching everyone. I have a Patreon now. And if you want more videos, if you want to support good content, please join my Patreon. You'll get lots of free cool sounds and tips and tricks and stuff there. We've got five uh, patrons so far. I want to say thanks to them. And thank you for watching. And I hope you have a lot of fun with this app. I hope you pick it up because it's brilliant. And so I'll leave you with this little jam at the end. Following that will be some links to show you all the different ways you can help support my channel and uh, support me so I can keep producing more content for you.